All right, time now to head over to KR Keeley News Anchor, Elizabeth Alvarez. Get a quick check of our Friday morning headlines. Good morning, Elizabeth. Hi, Elizabeth. Good morning, Matt. Good morning, Nikki. Happy Friday to you. We begin this morning talking about how the suspected wrong way drunk driver who crashed into two cars on the interstate Monday is now out of jail. Deputies say 26 year old Lila Perez was driving south in the northbound lanes on I 25 near Santa Fe Monday night when she hit the cars. Perez admitted to having mixed drinks. Uh, one victim, 29 year old Tara Toll, was seven months pregnant and had to have an emergency C section. Her baby is still in intensive care. Perez is charged with great bodily harm by a vehicle. She did not enter a plea in court Wednesday, but did post bond and is now out on an ankle monitor. New Mexico could be out seven million bucks soon because of open bottles of booze in people's car. Right now, state law says if you have an open bottle of alcohol, it needs to be in your trunk or the bed of your truck. Now, there's an exception for priests and pastors with wine for communion and for medicine that doctors have prescribed for you. But it turns out those exceptions are a conflict with federal law, which means New Mexico's Transportation Department stands to lose up to $7 million. State Senator John Sapien is trying to keep that from happening. He is actually sponsoring a bill in the roundhouse to eliminate the exceptions. It's all a long way from passing right now. We'll keep you posted on how that bill develops. You all know the construction at Jefferson and Osuna is creating quite a mess, and now some businesses in the area says that it is a killer for them. They claim that sales are way down because of a storm drainage project that actually started on Monday. Well, I've already let one of them go as of yesterday. I have no choice. We understand if the project has to be done, it has to be done. But we have all main access points to the shopping center cut off. If you're on Paseo and you hit Jefferson and you're going south on Jefferson, you can't turn left to get in. So you have to go all the way down Jefferson, make a UE. We just heard a moment ago, Quiznos say it had to already let an employee go. Construction is expected to take about three months. The city is trying to help by moving barrels and adding another turn lane into the complex so that customers can navigate their way more easily around the construction. Downtown Albuquerque is getting another large apartment complex. Casitas de Colores had its official groundbreaking break, breaking near uh, second and lead yesterday. Now this when it's all said and done, the complex will have 71 apartments with four set aside for homeless families. The apartments are designed for people who make all different salaries and are supposed to help get more people back into the downtown area. These apartments should be done by the end of the year. You could be waking up a millionaire today and not even know it. How about that for your Friday? Someone in New Mexico is holding a winning Powerball ticket worth two million bucks. The winner bought two tickets, played the same numbers on both except for the Powerball number. Now check your tickets. Both tickets match all the white ball numbers of 6, 10, 23, 41, and 45. The winning ticket matches the red Powerball number one. Wow. Congratulations if it's you. That wraps it up for your Friday morning headlines. Be sure to catch Matt, Kristen, and myself every weekday morning on KRQE News 13 beginning at 4.30 a.m. All right, guys, how's that for your Friday? That was very sweet and very generous of you to congratulate the winner and not begrudge them. No. Is it you? It's not me. <laughs> you, I'm Elizabeth? Here. Uh, you think I'd be here, my friend? <laughs> <laughs> it's only, wait, it's two million bucks. It's not 200 million. Uh, you, you can, you can live off it. You just have to invest very smartly. Exactly. And that's the thing, you know, when you do win lotteries, you have a lot of taxes to pay. So you have to be very you smart do. with your budgeting. So. Don't be like uh, Richard Hatch, the guy who oh, won Survivor, Survivor the first time. Remember him? Absolutely. He, the whole world knew he won a million bucks, but he decided not to uh, give the IRS his fair share. He got in a little trouble for yes, that. Yes, he did. He prison <laughs> for it, too. Okay, I have to